66 diseases said to be the number of diseases that this plant can cure. Believe it or not, that's a piece of research by the incredible Zimbabwean uh, academic Professor Alfred Moroy at uh, Forte University in South Africa, who's done a comprehensive piece of research on this plant, Chifumuro, and he identified from the literature no less than 66 diseases that this plant is said to cure. How's it guys? I am Gus, the African plant hunter, and this is the next in the ongoing series of medicinal plants of Southern Africa, and this is a medicinal plant I absolutely could not leave out. Uh, Dicoma anomala is the botanical name in English. It's often called a uh, fever bush or sometimes stomach bush. Bush, probably a little overstating. It's a small perennial herb. Uh, and in Ndele, they call it Ukalimela. Uh, the Shona, it's known as Chifumuro. Now, it's not the only plant that's called Chifumuro. Chifumuro refers to a type of plant. Uh, so there are others. Uh, but if you speak to most people, what is Chifumuro? This is the one they will tell you. And why is that? Well, it's kind of a panacea. Uh, it's used for a lot of different medicinal uses. Uh, got these remarkable uh, spiky flowers growing right on the ground. But it's in the root that the real medicinal value is found. This thing underneath um, and this root, decoctions of this root, sometimes shavings of this root are used to cure a very, very wide range of ailments. So as the name in English suggests, uh, stomach bush, uh, it's used to treat stomach ailments, also traditionally used to treat uh, schistosomiasis, uh, and fever bush, uh, also because it's used to treat malaria. But there's a lot more than that from a syphilis to diabetes, a cardiac problems, also for wound treatment, chest problems, uh, coughs, colds, and just generally as a panacea to a wide range of diseases. Now, what's the origins of the term chifumura? Well, it actually comes from the verb kufumura, which means to be exposed to shame. And the point of this plant is that it can be used to expose the spiritual causes of a particular ailment. So uh, a number of ways that it can be used. A traditional healer uh, might prescribe a decoction of this um, to help identify uh, the problem and, and uh, then leading to a treatment to that problem, um, which might or might not be uh, witchcraft induced. Uh, in the uh, Karanga people in southern Zimbabwe, uh, what they tend to do is that the healer will make a preliminary diagnosis and will then uh, cut a little bit of this root and then depending on that diagnosis will also cut a strip of bark and the bark will be, this bit of root will be tied to the end of the bark and the bark will then be tied around the waist or the neck uh, of the subject uh, to help identify, ward off, destroy the, that illness, and also to prevent it from being transmitted to other people, particularly within the family. Um, so it's quite common to see kids uh, with a little string around their waist uh, and one of these hanging from them on a piece of bark. And that is to uh, both as a quick cure and also as a prevention to, to keep them strong. So um, that is the kind of spiritual origins of the name uh, Chifomuro here in Zimbabwe. Now, from a phytochemical point of view, there's a lot in here. And thanks again, a shout out to that very remarkable uh, Alfred Moroy professor, because he's done a lot of this work. So, or he's documented a lot of it. So, there are many different compounds that have been found in this plant, but the ones that seem to be most uh, pharmaceutically active are the flavonoids. Flavonoids particularly effective, and this does substantiate a traditional use, by the way, in um, anti-cancer activity. So traditionally in Lesotho, this plant is used to treat breast cancer, and um, there is actually uh, genuine anti-tumor activity um, from that seems to be attributed to, to the flavonoids. Anti-schistosomiasis, flavonoids also active in that, in killing uh, worms, intestinal parasites and worms. Uh, so that bears out a traditional use. And anti-malaria, also another uh, traditional use that's borne out in uh, modern medicine.
Antimicrobial is another use that has been uh, demonstrated in science, so killing parasites, bugs, microbes. Antidiabetic, uh, that's an interesting one, um, helping to regulate blood sugar levels. And free radical scavenging, antioxidant activity, and then finally, which is very, very, very interesting, the hepatoprotective uh, activity, so liver protection. Um, in this plant, which uh, just makes it an absolute uh, wonder plant. And many people will find it around in the bush, keep its uh, location secret from anyone else so that they can use it whenever they need it. Uh, very remarkable plant, and that, I would say, concludes this. There was no way I could leave this one out. Uh, it's not so visually spectacular as the others, but from a pharmaceutical and a medicinal point of view, my goodness, this thing packs a punch. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, there's a lot more on my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Check out LinkedIn. Type in African Plant Hunter, you'll find me there. If you would like to support more videos like this, you can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter. Lots more in my uh, series on medicinal plants in Southern Africa. So I'll see you in the next video. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.